in New York and I'm going to be spending the next four days here discovering what the Big Apple has to offer and as usual I will be completely price transparent so you know how much a trip to New York City might cost you. This is episode two of my four part New York travel series. If you missed episode one, head over to my channel and check it out. I have come to the famous Katz's Deli, first opened in 1888. Now this is an extremely popular place, so expect a lineup. typical breakfast but I've heard that you can't come to Katz's Deli without trying a pastrami sandwich on rye with mustard. This thing is huge. There's no way I'm getting through this. There's probably no way I'm even going to get through half of this. I can hardly fit my mouth around it. Oh, man, there's so much flavour in this. Mmm. The meat is so tender as well, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. From Katz's Deli, it's a five minute walk to Second Avenue Station. Take the F train uptown. The ride costs $2.75 and you can just tap on with your bank card. Hop off at Bryant Park and a short walk towards East 42nd Street you will come to Grand Central Station. Did you know that over 250,000 people commute through Grand Central Station every single day? And did you know that the station has a whispering wall? So how it works is, if I talk into this corner, you should be able to hear me all the way over there. You're really cool! need more friends. <laughs> A five minute walk down East 42nd Street and you will come to the New York Public Library. Now even if you're not a bibliophile, this place is still not to be missed because the building is beautiful and the inside is just as impressive. This place is giving off some strong Harry Potter vibes. It feels like all of these oil paintings are just gonna suddenly come to life. to come to the library I recommend not coming on a Sunday like I have today because most of the rooms are closed including the Rose Main reading room which is kind of like the main event here and I'm so bummed out because there's just under 53 million items housed in this library and they're not just all books there's some really unusual and weird historical artifacts here like a lock of Charlotte Bronte's hair or the original Winnie the Pooh characters and even Charles Dickens' favourite letter opener with the embalmed paw of his favourite cat, Bob, on the end of it. Next stop, 
the Empire State Building. Voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. But maybe, baby, this will fly. pinch myself that I'm actually in New York, atop of the Empire State Building. Just looking at this view, looking down on all of the millions and millions of people down there, it just makes you feel so small, but then you look around at all of these skyscrapers and these buildings and you can't help but yes, feel small, but also incredibly inspired like you could achieve anything. Another bucket list item checked off. Seeing a Broadway show. The Book of Mormon is hilarious. It's fabulously tongue in cheek and I just can't recommend it enough. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on episode 3 of my New York travel series.